Hello students, welcome to Pramati Hillview Academy Digital Class. Today, I am going to take up a very beautiful chapter, The Happy Prince from the Supplementary Reading Moments. Let's begin. This story is about a prince. When a prince was alive, he was very happy. After his death, a big statue of his was erected on a pedestal. From there, the statue of prince could see the entire city. And at that time, he saw the miseries of the people. He saw the poor people, the homeless, their hunger and starvation. The prince was sad to see all these miseries and the sadness of the people. So in this chapter, we will study the story of this prince. High above the city, on a tall column, stood the statue of the happy prince. He was gilded, means to cover with something, all over with thin leaves of fine gold. For eyes, he had two bright sapphires and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt, means the handle of a weapon or tool. The statue of a prince stood on a high platform overlooking the city. This prince was called a happy prince because he, when he was alive, he always remained very happy. Upon his death, a big statue of his was erected in the center of the city in his remembrance. The statue of this prince was covered with thin layers of gold and instead of eyeballs, there were two bright shining sapphire stones. In the handle of his sword, a bright ruby stone was placed very attractively. One night, there flew over the city a little swallow, means a tiny bird. Its friends had gone away to Egypt six weeks before, but he had stayed behind. Then he decided to go to Egypt too. Swallow is a tiny bird. Although it is not a human being, still the writer is referring to it as he and his. He says that all the friends of this swallow had flown away to Egypt six weeks ago. This bird did not go with them. But later it thought of going to Egypt to meet his friends. So it was on its way to Egypt. All day long he flew and at night time he arrived at the city. Where shall I put up? Put up where to live? He said, I hope the town has made preparations. This bird kept on flying on its way to Egypt. And at night it reached the city. The city of the happy prince. It wanted to stay somewhere for the night. It thinks upon where to stay at night. The bird says that hopefully the city has made some arrangements for it to stay. Obviously the bird doesn't mean what it is saying. We can say that the bird is being humorous. Then he saw the statue on the tall column. I'll put up there, he cried. It's a fine position with plenty of fresh air. So he alighted, descended just between the feet of the happy prince. Now, when this tiny bird saw this huge statue of the happy prince, it, it thought of staying there for the night. So the bird thought that it was a good place to spend the night. There was shelter and a lot of fresh air. So the bird came and alighted. It stopped and sat in between the feet of the statue of the happy prince. I have a golden bedroom, he said softly to himself as he looked round and he prepared to go to sleep. But just as he was putting his head under his wing, a large drop of water fell on him. What a curious thing, curious, strange, he cried. There isn't a single cloud in the sky. The stars are quite clear and bright and it 
and let it's raining then another drop fell when the bird sat in between the feet of the happy prince it was surrounded with gold so it thought that it had a bedroom made of gold because it was surrounded by gold all around as it was about to sleep as it was putting its head under the wing suddenly a large drop of water fell on it the bird was surprised to see a drop of water falling on it it thought that neither was it raining nor the rainy season was going on the swallow could not believe this because the sky wasn't cloudy and stars were shining what is the use of a statue if it cannot keep the rain off he said i must look for a good chimney pot and he determined to fly away the swallow thought that the statue was useless because it wasn't able to protect it from the rain so he thought he should sleep under the statue the swallow thought that it was better if it took shelter in a chimney of a house and thought to move away from there because the statue wasn't able to protect it from the rain but before he had opened his wings a third drop fell on him and it looked up and saw aha uh -huh, what did he see the eyes of the happy prince were filled with tears and the tears were running down his golden cheeks his face was so beautiful in the moonlight that the little swallow was filled with pity who are you he said i am the happy prince why are you weeping then asked swallow you have quite drenched me swallow thought that the statue was of the happy prince but it was crying the bird asked the statue that why it was crying it added that it had soaked it with its tears when i was alive and had a human heart answered the statue i did not know what the tears were for i lived in the palace where sorrow is not allowed to enter my courtiers called me the happy prince and happy indeed i was so i lived and so i died and now that i am dead they have set me up here so high that i can see the ugliness and all the misery of my city and though my heart is made up of lead yet i cannot choose but weep the happy prince narrated his story to the swallow the happy prince said that when he was alive and he had a human heart human heart means the heart which beats which is alive at that time he was not aware what tears were and what sorrow was as he lived in a palace where there was happiness all around all the people who used to work in his court used to call him happy prince because he used to be happy all the time and he had not seen sorrow at all and he said that he lived happily and died in happiness only when he had a human heart he never cried he wasn't aware what tears were because he had seen happiness only and never faced any sorrow now when he was dead they had put him so high in the form of a statue on a pedestal he could see the whole city and the ugliness of the city too he could see that there were so many people living in misery like lack of food hunger lack of money homelessness now when the statue's heart was made up of lead a metal although it did not have any feelings when it saw all the sadness it became sad and wept and started responding to their misery dear students we have come to an end of the first session of the chapter the happy prince the happy prince is a beautiful statue one day a little swallow stays between the feet of the happy prince a large drop of water falls on the swallow when he gets ready to go to sleep the swallow learns that these are the tears falling from the happy prince's eyes 
the happy prince tells him about the misery around him in the next session we are going to know about some more fascinating information about the chapter the happy prince until then bye